how do I explain I'm, I'm the legend to my son and daughter, the big pink sheep? That was a big joke when I got, when I got home. Well, we're getting ready for this year's most awards and uh, catching up with some previous iconic winners. Uh, with us today, we're joined by Wayne Bischoff, CEO of MediaMark and the winner of the uh, 2021 most award for media owner legend. Uh, Wayne, what was going through your mind when you uh, collected that award back in 2021? Not only had you come through COVID somewhat, um, but you'd also won this amazing award. And what was going through your head? Well, the time it was it was a, it was a surprise. There's no doubt about that. It wasn't about winning awards, obviously, but just getting that acknowledgement, you know, was humbling. It was really, really humbling for me. What is it that makes the most awards so profound in the context of our industry? You know, I think of what we came through that whole COVID period. You know, where we kind of lost a lot of the human connection. You know, what we tried to do and what I tried to do was to try even harder to make human connections with people and with, with clients and with partners and with agencies and tapping into our, 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 our people every single day. So this was just about re-establishing re those human connections. And it's all about that. And I think that's also the theme of this year's most, most awards is that it's not just about the industry and transactional stuff, it's about the people. You've uh, won these awards in an individual capacity um, and in the capacity of uh, the business that you are in. How does it change your perception of success and how you measure your accomplishments? From a personal point of view, I don't think, I don't think any of us will add, don't strive to win awards. And to me, for, from a company point of view and all the awards you win as a company, it was always about, are we delivering? Are we delivering on client success? Are we being excellent in everything we do? If we're getting acknowledged or we're not getting acknowledged, then where do we need to improve? Then even if we did, did exceptionally well, where can we still improve? So I make sure we get that data at the end of the whole process and see, okay, we did really well here, where can we keep improving? And there's a passion that we have for that. And there's, a, there's an amazing feeling that if you deliver on that for, for your clients, you're doing the right things right. And there's, there's feeling of satisfaction, I think. As you reflect on uh, some of what you've done, because the best is always yet to come, um, what is it that really sticks out for you um, as kind of some of your most meaningful moments or one of the most meaningful moments in your media career thus far? The stuff that always sticks out, and it's not one, it's, it's, a, it's when, I want to say youngsters, my God, I sound like an old man then, but when younger people in the media industry say, hey, Wayne, I remember that time you gave me a real push or you maybe some mentoring or something or advice and it pushed me and I'm now doing X, Y, and Z and I really appreciate what you said about me and how you made me feel back then. So I always believe it's about how you make people feel. Uh, then I go, wow, okay, I've made, I've made a difference in someone's life. And that to me is the, real, is the real satisfaction. When you look at media in 2023 and you look at the next two years, five years, 10 years, what are the fundamentals that will ring true amidst all the noise? AI is obviously a big driver now. People think AI and how it's going to streamline and automate our industries and, oh my God, get rid of people's jobs. You still need someone to run that AI and be behind it. You need the human insight. So to me, I think what I'll start, we'll start seeing, and it's starting to come around again, is that it is a more of a drive to say creativity is really important. How do we actually, media agencies, media owners, get involved in, in the creative process with creative agencies to help inspire and amaze and, and, get, and, and get consumers to have an experience, not just an inconvenience as a lot of the ads out there these days are. But we need to get to a point, and we're starting to get there, where the creative experience is becoming more and more important, the human connection, and I think we, we're coming back to that. We're coming back to that. I think that's over the next decade or so, you'll see much more focus on, 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 the, on the creative experience of, of media. And as we uh, start to land this plane, um, your message to media owners and media agencies, um, both those that will win at the awards and those who won't win at the awards, um, what to take away from either experience? Well, I think if you win, be humble. <laughs> uh, and, and spread the, that knowledge and those winning, winning learnings across to, to other industries. And I think for those who don't necessarily win, don't stop taking part. Because I've seen that some meetings go, I haven't won, I'm not gonna take part anymore. It's not just about trying to get people to quickly vote for you and go, cool, I've done it. My shareholders are re really happy with me. It's about how are we bringing passion back to this industry? How are we bringing excellence back? How are we lifting the industry? 
So it's really important to take it seriously, get involved. It's not just a, it's not just a, a day job. Just get involved in, and love your industry and give back to it and it will give back to you as well. How are we uplifting our industry? That's where we'll leave it. That's uh, Wayne Bishop there, CEO of MediaMark. Uh, Wayne, thank you so much. We'll uh, catch you at the awards. <laughs>